Merry yeah. Christmas, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, we did it. It's the season. Hey, we did it. It we is the season. It. Welcome, yeah. everyone, to a very special podcast for this week of Christmas with the 321 Liftoff crew as we get in the Christmas spirit and take the time to wish you all a very happy holiday. And we're going to get a bit personal today as we share memories of past Christmas holidays and we look to what we hope for that's going to happen maybe in the year 2021. And joining us to share these memories will be Michelle Martindale, the sales director for the Beachside Hotel and Suites and our major sponsor for this podcast and where we are broadcasting today. And Rob Varley, the past director of tourism for the Space Coast Office of Tourism and now retired and happily indulging in his passion for photography. So let's just start by introducing our 321 Liftoff crew and have them wish you a very special and happy Christmas. Here's my co-host, Mr. Pete Lynch. Thank you so much, Bonnie, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone out there. We're very thankful to have you all in our, in our lives and everything. And um, this is, Christmas is a very special day for us. You know, I have a family, the two kids, they uh, they got up this morning and they're ready to go, opening their presents. So it's always a great time. We had some hot cocoa. Oh, nice. Yeah. We nice. only do that a couple of times a year. And, uh, you know, it was great. So um, happy, Merry Christmas, everybody. And we're looking forward to the show where we can tell everybody about our Christmas traditions. Sounds good. John? Well, Merry Christmas, like Pete said, and it's funny, Pete, because you said your kids got up. I'm pretty sure mine never went to sleep. <laughs> well, <man>. um, <laughs> and Christmas, uh, it's again, it's a great time of year. We have a lot of fun, a lot of family, and it's just there's a, just a something in the air, right? And, and here on the Space Coast, especially, what a better place to celebrate Christmas? Uh, we see a lot of visitors in town during Christmas time. We love it, and I'm um, just happy to be here at Beachside Hotel, and uh, and and love it. So thank thank you, everybody. I am just thrilled to be here at Christmas time in Florida. I so love I it. Every, every time we introduce Wayne, he always, I am fantastic. I <laughs> just love it. That's the only way to be. I know. It's good. I love the be. attitude. It's great. You know, it's the only way to be. And I'm, I'm hoping that uh, everyone is safe. This COVID thing has got us all scared to death. But I think we're going to come through it. I understand. I heard on the news this morning that they're going to start administering shots to the public on Monday or Tuesday of next week. Uh, and so that's exciting news. And that that, uh, uh, that tells us that maybe we see the light at, uh, at the end of the tunnel here. That's so. hope. You know, you that's hope. You don't know it yet, but under the tree, a present for you is a vaccine I got you. So. Oh, oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh. That'll be later in the day. Yeah, that's, right. yeah. oh, that's funny. Hey, Rob. So um, how's your day? Oh, Welcome. I, I, my day is great every every day. Yeah, it, but it, you know, especially Christmas time is, it's it's become so much more joyous for us because of family and and those two grandkids. And you know, I just get a kick out of watching Tina uh, go out and, and spoil them. And uh, uh, but but it's it's just a joyful time and and it's a time to remember family and what's and important the meaning of christmas so right absolutely, yeah, absolutely. and hey michelle Hello, welcome michelle. we're glad you're with us today i'm glad to be here merry christmas uh, merry from beachside so hotel and suites uh and my christmas is being a little quiet as you know my daughter's military so yeah. i want to do a big shout yes, out to all you. those that are yes. serving thank that can't definitely. be home with their family just wish them uh, keep them in your prayers and wish them a merry christmas yes very good absolutely so we're, we thought we'd talk about some personal things that have happened in our lives and what we're thinking is what's going to happen for 2021. So who'd like to start and share something? Well, I, I guess I can, I can start because one of my earliest Christmas memories, and this is the mischievous side of myself, right? So I, when I was a kid, I would search my parents' house of course. to try to find the presents, Part of the game, right? Man. Like, Definitely. And I found, I was probably seven or eight years old, a Macho Man Randy Savage wrestler doll, uh, action figure. I don't. I, I never played with dolls. Doll. Right? I was an action kind of big figure. to play with dolls, man. <laughs> so I, I found it. I had been wanting that for a long time. He was my favorite guy, and I found it. And on Christmas morning, we opened up all the presents, and I got some great gifts. My 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 mom was always wonderful, and she made sure that the three of us got the same amount. You know, everything was great. But I opened all the presents, and I didn't find the Macho Man. And I I was just like kind of like. What happened? Like, I know, but like, how do I tell her that I know? And, and you know, what's going on? And she's like, well, what's wrong? And she's like, we got you the Atari and we got you uh, Space Invaders. And I'm like, I I'm missing something. Like, and, and I finally told her, I'm like, I snuck under your bed and I looked under your bed and I saw that you had gotten me the Macho Man. And she's like, 
I totally forgot to look under the bed. <laughs> so so she went into the room and she came out and it was unwrapped and she handed me the Macho Man. And to this day, my son's now uh, 14 years old and that Macho Man doll is on his action figure, <laughs> is on his uh, shelf. So we, we look at it every day and that's got to be one of my first Christmas yeah. memories that I remember. And now that my kids are old enough, too, that I know that they're sneaking around, we are extra careful about where we hide our gifts. Right. Yeah, well. Trunk of the car. Trunk of the car. So not to say that I was mischievous during Christmas myself, but. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We're, yeah, we're now admitting yeah, yeah. this to dad, yeah, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah I know, right? So, so uh, I, I uh, back, back in the in the day um, when I was younger, the shark watch was the big thing, man. Every one of that shark watch. And, and uh, I actually, I didn't have to search. All the presents were out wrapped, but I figured. Why not unwrap them early? <laughs> <laughs> and I found a shark watch. And, man, I was just so excited. And, and I don't remember how. I, maybe I just had a big mouth. That's probably what it was. That and was it. Outed myself. I don't know. But Christmas I uh, Christmas morning, I was all excited. And, I, again, I mean, we, we it was one of those things where you try to keep your child the gift amount same. So then you get one more and you get one more. And then before you know, there's 500 each. <laughs> um, so, anyways, we went through all the presents. And then I opened this one, and it was a box of salt and pepper shakers. And, man, I was so <laughs> mad. I said, the heck is that? What am I going to do with salt and pepper shakers? <laughs> and then, th then, then they knew. And they knew I got mad. And then they, they, they told me that, yeah, that we knew you opened it. And there was that shark watch, though. But <laughs> I, I learned after that date, it was like kind of a warning shot. Don't, don't Like, don't go it. messing around. Don't do it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, fond, fond, fond memories. Great Christmases. Thank you, Pops. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> no, you're welcome. Don't you love, um, like, right before the night before Christmas when you're a kid and, you know, you can't really, you can't sleep because yep. you're so excited. And um, uh, we would do, um, my father, he knew we would wake up early and we'd go out because we wanted to see all the presents underneath the tree. And so my dad would not allow us out there. So he tied wire to our doors. And wow. <laughs> <we> <laughs> Wow. I know. Gosh. We look back now and go, God, it's a good thing we didn't have a fire or something, you know? Oh, wow. But he would, Ooh. yeah, and that way if we moved the door or opened the door, it would ring a bell and him and he would, you know, let uh. us know. So they always put um, coloring books at the end of our beds so that when we woke up early, we could color and wait what till a great they. Idea. I know that's what they did. So that was. I may have to just use that in general. Just put coloring books. Like stay in your rooms. Just that might color. be child abuse now. Is it? You oh. know? Yeah, probably. Well, scratch that. Then. I, did, I didn't say that. <laughs> All right, Wayne. I'd love to hear a John, a, li a little John Christmas story. I'd do a little John. <laughs> a little I, little he <laughs> just young John. I I I don't know what to say about him. I mean. He was the, the world's greatest distributor of, of wrapping paper, unwrapped, torn up <laughs> wrapping paper. It was all over the house all the time. I was His brother wouldn't do that, but he, w he was just <laughs> stuff flying all over the place. It was just do amazing. Do you remember one Christmas? It was my brother and I, and we had this great, you know, and again, you know, on a Christmas tree, the presents are everywhere. Well, my brother and I at like midnight, maybe one in the morning, we had this brainiac idea. We're going to help mom and dad. We're going to go ahead right now and go under the tree, and we're going to sort all our presents. We're going to stack them in piles. So when they wake up, we're all ready to go. <laughs> so, man, we were in the – and he, he, Dad Pops heard us. I mean, there was this <laughs> alarm going off, I suppose, and we were stacking our presents. Like, what the heck are you thinking about? What are you doing? What are you doing? We, we were like, uh, get back in your room. <laughs> they made us, he made us resort all our presents. And, uh, and, and again, yeah, because he knew we probably would have had everything open before. Right. <laughs> so right. funny. So <laughs> funny. So, yeah, it was so how about you, Rob? What's going on? What do you remember? Well, I, when, I, when we were kids, we lived in a two-story house. Uh, back when we were living in, in Illinois, my dad was uh, uh, worked for the post office 32 years hmm. and had rural routes. And I, my fondest memories of Christmas uh, being young was – all the stuff that my dad would bring home from all these farmers when he went out and delivered mail. He was one of those people that believed in the slogan, you know, through rain or sleet or hail, right. the mail must go through. Awesome. And he was always being pulled out of the snowbanks by farmers and their tr tractors, but they appreciated him. And, I mean, we never bought a Christmas turkey the whole time that my dad was with the post office. Oh, he was gone. Wow. Even when he became postmaster and Kermit, you know, the ranchers would come in. They loved him. And and so we never bought a Christmas turkey. Wow. And because of 
just the generosity of all those people and just what my dad did. So that was kind of my, my fun thing. Is, mm. As far as peeking at presents, we had... <laughs> we had, we had so other people did that? Yeah. Who oh. <laughs> 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 didn't? My, and my parents, I don't think they ever knew, but uh, up upstairs, above, uh, in, in the hallway by, by our bedroom, was uh, a heating grate, okay? Mm -hmm. And it just actually was just to allow warm air from below to come up to them. And I figured out how to take the, the top grate off and I could <gasps> stick my head down in there and I could watch them in the living room you know, oh, <laughs> oh boy. you heard it here first, folks. We got a breaking wow. news exclusive. I love it. I had so no he, idea that thing came up. He said, "I don't want that. I got to convince mom to exchange that for another one." <laughs> wow. Oh, you're a bad boy. How about you, Michelle? Well, um, as you know, my dad was uh, in the army, so I remember one Christmas that he had been deployed. And he came home for Christmas and really surprised us because we weren't oh, expecting oh, it. Wow. Oh, well, that's nice. You know, it's one of those that you know, just. I don't cry, but man, you watch those type of videos oh, when yeah. you, and, and it just it hurts it, right at your your heart. Well, you start tearing up. I yeah. got uh, my my Christmas. I have a very special Christmas I'll never ever forget. Uh, I was very fortunate. I was born into a very large family. My mother was the second youngest of sixteen. Wow. Uh, Whoa. My uh, grandfather was a rascal. Yes, um, <laughs> and, uh, and your mother was very patient. <laughs> right, <also. laughs> right. And uh, I, I was uh, I was born and raised in a small little town up north that you may have heard of called New York City. Uh, and uh, we, all, whenever the family, all the aunts and uncles, we always had to rent a big hall because nobody's house was big enough to accommodate the whole family. But I, my greatest experience at Christmas was in 1968. And you speaking about your daughter in the military. I was in Vietnam, and you're, it's a very lonely time because you're thinking your family's all getting together, and you're down there in the jungles. And one, Christmas Eve, we were attacked, uh, and we're out there in the jungles, and they're firing, and we're firing, and there's rockets, and there's mortars, and all of this. And then all of a sudden, about 15 minutes before midnight, it stopped. It just stopped. And it was as quiet as you can be. And we're all laying prone in our firing position, just looking at, at one another. And you didn't dare say anything because you give away your position. And you just look at one another, and you couldn't figure out what was going on. And it just stopped for about an hour. Okay? And then we realized... It was a Christmas ceasefire, and even the Viet Cong really okay, recognized. Wow. They, they recognized that. that it was. I mean, they're Buddhists, okay, and, and we're most we're Christian, we're Christian, we're Jews, we're everything, but they respected the fact of our religion. Well, that's amazing. And so they, that is amazing. Yep. They, wow. they, yep. they, uh, they yeah. stopped, and and then about an hour later. The firing started back up again, <laughs> but for one hour. Wow. And that was, I said to myself, why are why? we fighting this war? Right. Why? That's restraint. Wow, that, if they could respect us that much and we could respect them right. for why an hour, why that? can't we do it all What's the time? What's amazing, they're allies now. Right. Yeah. Finally. It, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just like Japan. Look what they did on Pearl Harbor, which was just December 7th, 7th where all, and all those people were killed. And now we got Hondas and Toyotas riding all over the streets here. And, it, and, and Hiroshima is, is a beautiful city. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So that was a very, very special and spiritual uh, like Christmas. I would, Christmas, I Christmas would think miracle, so. right? That is. Yeah. I'd like to share a really special something that happened for me for Christmas because it involves you two. We were doing a uh, sales action team Christmas mm -hmm. party. Oh, those are the best. And uh, oh, those are uh, great parties. And, and uh, Rob's with us still. At the, and all of a sudden, um, Debbie Page Wright came, and you guys, my daughter was in Korea. That was really Oh, my, that's my right, first, yes. My first Christmas without her. Yeah. And I had gotten word that they were interviewed her, and she's going to be on TV, on the, memes, on the news. And uh, I guess Debbie taped it and brought it in, and we showed it to all, Rob played it for all the people oh, there. Awesome. My yeah. daughter wishing us a Merry Christmas. It, it was, was just really, special. really special. Oh, man. That's I think I still I think that I still is have goosebumps. I know. Me it too. was, it was really, 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 and really, really special for and, me. And Please. you know what was also very special about that, that story? Is mentioning Debbie Page Wright's name. Yeah. 
Well, I Great have another lady. story to tell yeah. about her. Yeah. <laughs> Great lady. And Christmas and my daughter. Yep. There's a wonderful yep. lady. Yes. She, she certainly was. was. She was really wonderful. I remember one time, I, you know, I lived up in, in a condo up in Port St. John before Tina and I moved into the house. And, and i driving over to the, to the Publix. And I'm going down, you know, the, you know how the, the lanes are, you know, the cars are parked. And you, you go down the lane and this lane over here goes this way. Well, here comes this car coming up the wrong way on the lane. And I'm driving, I go, why are you stupid? You know, and, <laughs> and, and I'm just, you know, you know, and, and the car pulls up beside me and she rolls down the window and it's, it's Debbie. And she said, what are you griping about, you old fart? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my gosh. Wow. What do you say to that? <laughs> oh, I just laughed. Yeah. Uh, Gee. Well, I guess if I could give a, a serious story, since you know we're, we're going back and forth between the funny and the serious, yeah. right? So, family is the, obviously the most important thing for the holidays. But Christmas Eve, two thousand four, we have the whole family is together. Everybody, my parents, um, my girlfriend at the time's parents, uh, her whole her brothers and sisters, four of them, everybody was there at the house, and we opened one present a piece. So we got my wife or. My girlfriend at the time and we put her in the chair and I had her open up a present and as she's opening it up it's a Christmas ornament it's a little teddy bear that was in a wedding dress and it was holding a little pillow that said bride to be oh. and she opens it up and she looks at it and she's reading it <laughs> And then I got down on one knee on Christmas Eve. Wow. In front of wow. Listen to this. Heard that story. I wow. Asked, wow. And also asked all the family ahead of time. You know, I asked her father. That was a whole other story. But, you know, I asked the, I got all the permission and everything. But right in front of everybody, you know, make sure she didn't say no. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right. But I got engaged on Christmas Eve in 2000. Wow. wow. That's a what great, great story. story. All yeah. these what a memory. We've I'm talked about these stories, and you said, oh, man, why was that's fantastic. Yeah, great job. It, it's it's oh. always very special uh, come the holiday season, and we remember that all the time. And obviously now, 16 years later with two kids and you know, uh, every, everything is, is And great. you still have that ornament on the tree. Uh, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, have, yeah. I have a question for you, too, and I, and I guess I, I don't know how long you've been down here. 1999 in, okay. in Space Coast. But, but you, you grew up here. I grew up here, yeah. And, and you pretty much, pretty much grew up here, yes. And, and I want to know, uh, I remember, you know, uh, being, li I'm living in Texas, and, you know, they, they landed on the moon and all this stuff, and... I remember times when we had astronauts in space, and, and I know they wished us Merry Christmas from space. Do you remember any stories that were unique for the Space Coast that happened like something? I can't, re I can't think off the top uh, of my head, but I do recall those, you know, sitting yeah. around the, the TV and watching it. But did you, you have one, John? Well, not, not from back in the 90s. I have a recent one. I won't say who because that's not my place to do it, but a friend in the market will say recently, um, within the past few days, actually has a recorded voicemail from recent, an astronaut at the International Space Station called her and thanked her for, because she is somebody that works here in the market. And that this person helped take care of the astronaut's family. And so oh, from I, I heard the voicemail, and it is crystal clear. I mean, he must be right at the, sa the, the cell phone satellite or something. But I was like, how often do you get a call from the space station? <laughs> <laughs> really? what, no, yeah, yeah. That, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I think it would be interesting, too. Like, when, when you look back at your Christmases, like, what was your favorite, like, your favorite Christmas gift. I mean, we know you, Randy Savage, was yours. Oh, the macho man. And, yeah. I mean, but, I mean, everybody's got some memory of something really great. Mine was, I think I was seven years old, and I and they had Patty Play Pal dolls. Patty Play Pal dolls were three feet tall, and they they were like the size of a little three-year-old, two-year-old child. And um, my parent, when I woke up on Christmas Day, I had, and my sister, both of us, got a Patty Play Pal doll, mm. and in, in a real... Um, carriage you know because oh, wow. they were they wore real clothes and we had a whole um wardrobe so i would dress her for breakfast you know for oh. all day oh yeah but can you imagine and and that was my it was great That's pra patty paypal patty paypal so let me ask like the questions like have you guys had had to have any battles while shopping for uh presents for christmas <laughs> because that's always like you know, there's there's one toy normally that's like the hard oh. thing to get that the people want to get. So my mother tells me every year, 
<laughs> it reminds us every time. So Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, I don't know God, yes. I've got a great story about that. Okay, right? So I don't know if that's the 80s or the 90s, but that was like the big thing. And she grabbed three of them because there were three of us. And there was a limit of two per person Uh-oh. at the time. And uh, there's no cell phones back in those days to call, you know, my dad to come over. <laughs> you know? So uh, there, there's an interesting story as to how she was able to, to get all three of us. But she was successfully able to uh, to do that. But do you guys have any stories on, on things you tried to buy that, like, you couldn't quite get? Well, I, I want to go to Cabbage Patch. Oh, of course. You know, it was right. hard to get one, and I, I got one for my daughter. Okay. And she yeah. opened it up, and she goes, oh, my God, what an ugly dog. Oh, <laughs> dog, no. take it back. <laughs> she did not want it. Yeah, and I, I went through it. They <laughs> are. They are. But she says, oh, this is ugly. Take it back. I don't want this. Well, yeah. You remember she says, tell Santa to take this back. Yeah, it's one <laughs> step above the pet rock. Yeah. <laughs> the pet rock. Oh, what, a great, what, a, what a great marketing what a scam. <laughs> well, yeah, but it was huge, man. I mean, all, here's a rock, and I'm going to make all tons of money. No, what, what was scam. the name of that, that big egg thing that would crack and the animal would come out of it? Remember just, just a few Oh, ago? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forget the name of this thing. Maybe it'll come to us. But I, uh, I had to go to um, Target, and a faithful dad that, you know, my kid wants it, and I want my kid to be happy. And probably three, four nights in a row. And I say nights, I'm talking I'd be there from like one in the morning till six. And I, you know, you get your lawn chair because what happened is. Is that a hatchable? Hatchable. 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 That's it, hatchable. Okay. Yeah. What happened is, is Target would get these stupid things, but, you know, whatever. But they loved them. And, and, and as soon as the store would open, those things would be gone within minutes. So you had to be You had first. to be there. And, and the thing was is you could call Target and say, hey, are you getting more or wherever you're buying them? Well, they don't know until the truck comes. So I had to. I told my wife, she goes, you must be nuts. I said, I love my daughter. I love my daughter. I got to do it. And so, like, fourth night, I finally, man, and, and there were people lined up behind me. And I just looked at them. I said, I know what you're here for, and I'm here for it, too. And I'm not leaving without it. <laughs> and I got it. And you got and, it. And they play with it for, like, a week. And I'm yeah. like, and now they're <laughs> everywhere. Half yeah, the you price. can't give them away. I know, right, and I'm right, like, right. oh. But I feel good I did it. You know <laughs> what? We're, we're talking about the stories. What, what, why would... How can we get people to understand this is a great destination to come to at this time of the year? Uh, right now. Weather's perfect. I mean, yeah. what, a, what a present for your family to bring them here to beautiful. the Space Coast. We yeah. have a friend client that actually last year, hopefully does it again this year, came out with a unique thing. During Christmas, what's a common thing to do? Drive around and look at the lights? Well, Cocoa Beach Helicopters actually has where you can fly in the sky and look over at the lights. And that is really, really, really cool. So that, you know, another great thing when you come here to the Space Coast, it'll every, everywhere is lit up. The people are fantastic. Um, you got some of the best views. But there's some cool, fun things to do, too, during Christmas, like a helicopter tour well, and looking I mean, from above. This is the height of the birding season. Yes. yes. You know, this is where you can go out and you can see all kinds of, of birding. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, take a small airboat. You know, I love the guys out at Lone Cabbage and, the, you know, the group stuff and everything. But if, if, if you can... Get a hold of like Cap- Captain Mike. I, I don't know if he's still doing it, but he used to take me out all the time to shoot out on St. John's. And you can, you know, just if it's a couple, take a small one, and, mm-hmm. and you'll be able to go out there and get way into the Cypress, and you'll just see wonders that you know you you don't Beautiful expect. Beautiful areas. Yeah, I mean, even going on fin expeditions out in Thousand Islands, like you know, kayaking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's so yeah. you see wonderful, wonderful birds, and you know, the dolphins and. And yeah. the but manatees, you know, also we you were talking yeah, about manatees, that you don't you get know. to see anywhere else. And, and, and <laughs> yeah. you know what? The restaurants, too, this time of year, like we, we, were, we were a couple weeks ago at Fish Lips, had a live podcast there, and they come up with holiday drinks. I had a oh. holiday martini. that was Which was great. very oh, good. Oh, wow. That oh. was a fun one. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah, so there's, there's some <laughs> great experiences when you come here that you don't get all year long. So that's, right. again, to your you know, point. We have, well, we got jingle juice right here at Duck Dive. Jingle juice. Uh-huh. Yeah, you had some, jingle. some interesting yeah, Christmas drink names. Were yeah, you, were you juice drinking juice that when you named it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never tell. Yeah. <laughs> no, we she had the first the three, <laughs> and then it came jingle juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are oh, some of the other drinks that you oh, have? Oh, we got a Duck Dive Christmas. You know, it's wild turkey and cinnamon and schnapps. Oh, man. Ooh, it's probably really That'll good. That'll warm you up. Uh-huh, and not so Irish Irish coffee. I got to try that oh, one. Oh, Bushmill Irish whiskey with a uh, little Kahlua and cream mud. Uh, that, that's mine. Oh, that's that mine. Sounds good. I'm a Kahlua girl. And a little bit green to mint. Sounds so, good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, how yes. about food for the holidays? Like the, this season is always, you know, there's different food items that you can get, and plenty of the restaurants are good. Uh, John and I, I know, have been talking about the Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes oh. that come out only, you know, for one month a year. Are they <laughs> chocolate? What are, or are they? They're, gr- they're, they're both chocolate and vanilla, but they're Debbie cakes. Little okay. Debbie. 
a friend of mine buys them. And, and she just said she bought sixteen boxes, <laughs> yes. and then she puts them away, and then she rations them. And like, if you want one, you like you have to have an interview with her. Like, okay, why why should you have one? Why do you deserve one? Yeah, these these are <laughs> a pretty big thing. I'll have to area. try that. Uh, you know, they're pre- they're pretty good. But what what are, what are you guys some of your favorite holiday foods? Uh, everything <laughs> yeah everything <laughs> uh, you know what we've been always done as a tradition in our family and i love doing it is uh making these the christmas cookies and uh, the neighbors always love it because we always make extra and we bring them around but you know you you get the, the cookies different shapes and then the frosting and then you get those little like the little cinnamon round ball on top i don't know it's just fun to do it fun to eat them while you're making them and uh it's just a fun again it's a great time to have the family together yeah. and it, you know just yeah, well, my my wife's a fond memories of making cookies with Courtney. My wife's Italian, so oh, I man. we always get Italian chicken parmesan and you don't lasagna. Leave and leaving that's, your that's house. That's never a bad <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. My, my <laughs> wife t- Tina, she's not Greek, but you know, she was when she was married to her first husband. She they were stationed in Greece, and that's where she became good friends with Carol. Uh, right. Um, was your marketing secretary yes. for a long time. And uh, so they learned traditional Greek food. And our tradition is all our families get together and we have a, a Greek, uh, you know, dinner. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Sounds and good. That's good. The, the tzatziki and I all that. I could dip the, right, anything right. in tzatziki sauce. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, you know, I think Christmas, I think it was here on the Space Coast, matter of fact, the first time I ever had a turducken. And I said, turducken? <laughs> Where do you find one of those in the wild? That sounds like the John Madden. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what yeah. kind of bird is that? It's no. turkey, duck, and chicken. And they, like, they put it together. I don't know how oh to do gosh. it. But I know it's a plate. And, and uh, wow. Like, okay, cool. It's <laughs> delicious. Yeah, turducken. <laughs> wow. You, you, you picture like a three-headed bird running around, right? Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Never heard of that. Yeah. But I still like to have my turkey on Christmas. Oh, I'm yeah, a, absolutely. I, I, just, I just love turkey. And then the next day we do ham. Yep. Yeah. So. Right. Yep. Well, uh, a day after Thanksgiving, I was in a local store here, and uh, I bought uh, another turkey. And it was like a 22-pound turkey, and I got it for 10 bucks because, you know, it's the day after Thanksgiving. So they're unloading them. And uh, yeah, I love. You got turkey. a good deal. Oh man, it was good. Yeah. Good eating. Well, I have such a large household. I get Cornish hens. Uh, Cornish <laughs> hens. <laughs> oh. Was, so when I was when I was younger, that was something because everybody had their own individual. Mitchell, right. And then we would have the wishbones because everybody right. could have the wishbones. You could right. play that like a couple days. Yep. I think we did that on New Year's Day or whatever. But that was my Christmas. That's my Christmas making Cornish hens. Oh, that's always fun. Hey, you know, I love driving around here too because you get to see all like the decorations on the buildings and stuff, mm-hmm. and even just a simple thing, just a Santa hat on top of the the Coco Beach chair. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just it's so. Over on the Kelly Slater statue, I think. Right, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I love how they decorate him right. with whatever season whatever, is yeah. going on. But you know, this year, did you notice too that everybody put their decor? Uh, not everybody, but a lot of decorations went up early this year. Oh yeah. I, and I think because of COVID, people are right. home or whatever, and they did, they wanted to get into some kind of you know a Cheerful. spirit, yeah. and they get in the mood. Right. Really but yeah. my neighborhood is just lit up. Yep. I'm not, but they are. You know, well, I don't, I don't I'm know. lit up in other ways. So. Right. <laughs> you don't have to drive around your neighborhood just to drive around your neighborhood. But this time of year, yeah. it's always really nice. Oh, to, you it know, is. Drive around I mean, and see the know, lights, and we like to take the grandkids, and we go into. Uh, uh, up there in Port St. John's, Hundred Acre Woods. Yes, yep. so they, they yes. do everything. Yes. Really. Yes. Their Halloween yeah. is great there. Yeah. 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 Isn't there a song about that place? <laughs> the Hundred yes. Acre Woods? Not yeah, Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh, right? Yeah, but Winnie that, the that Pooh. neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like your neighbor that's competing in this concert. They're for every oh, Halloween. Oh, they're, they're, they're Halloween is great. Their Christmas lights are great. Like they, It must be part of their association that if you live here, what? you're participating. One year we drove around and, and this guy had... had uh, Decorated his 18-wheeler nice. uh, with Christmas tree lights and parked it in his yard. Nice. And, I mean, it was really cool. Wow, <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Well, there was just an event, uh, I think it was uh, a couple weeks ago, in Melbourne, and it was a walkthrough, and they're doing it uh, till the end of January, so we still got a little time, but it was over 3 million lights. And and it's this whole big, you know, and then, so again, what a, what a better way to, to experience it, you know? And then and then 30 minutes, we talk, we've talked about Orlando a couple weeks ago, only 30 minutes away, um, the the um, one of the resorts over there does a, a, an ice type thing every year, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, yep. that's a it's, fun one. It's it's awesome. Um, yeah. So you know this year was a little different. That's the Gaylord Palm. Gaylord, Gaylord Palm right. does that. Yeah. And uh, this year was a little different because of of COVID. It was a, a thing where they did kind of like a behind the scenes for different movies. And of uh, my favorite, I think we talked about movies earlier. My favorite movie was the you know the the, the quote you'll shoot your eye out, kid. Oh <laughs> yeah. <Right? laughs> Christmas story. Christmas story. That's yes. tradition. 
That's yeah, yeah close. definitely. Every I year. think it runs on one channel like 24 hours a day. It, it just does. runs over and over and over again. Consequently, I never got a Red Rider, uh, Red Rider, <laughs> <laughs> uh, BB gun because of that. Because uh, right, would have shot my eye out. I still believe that Die Hard is a, is a Christmas movie, and I do too. I, I do too. Die Hard. I love it. I have been yeah. waiting How is that a Christmas for 14 happened? years You're to be Christmas. able to show my son <laughs> Die Hard, and I think this is the year we're going to plan on doing it. They're at a Christmas party. Yeah. Well, yep. so so did, so did that movie with the, the Gremlins. That but that's not really a Christmas movie. Of course. Christmas vacation. There's a lot of really good yeah. ones, but yeah, I've been waiting for it to show him Die Hard. And I think this might be the end of it. I I love that Christmas vacation with Chevy Chase. It was on the other yeah. night. I was watching it with my brother, and I swear we laughed so hard. I mean, I've seen it like 50 times, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I laugh the same way every oh, time yeah. because it's just hilarious. It is good, and, and that's that's just a sad because he was so great on camera. Yeah, I hear off camera completely different personality, but those movies I love watching because he's just so funny. The Griswold. Oh, the Griswold, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. good. Well, that's why they call them actors. That's, <laughs> that's it. Right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody ever do anything fun, like wrapping presents, like as a, as a prank, maybe? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All the time. I, I got about uh, 15 different size uh, boxes in gradual size, <laughs> and, I, and I, you know, get to start with the smallest one, then the next small, and I wrapped them up and wrapped them up, and I did this to your mother. Yeah. You were just a baby That's at why the she time. seemed so happy that day. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's w- that's when the trouble started. Well, that's another long <laughs> that's story. That's the stereo, but that's a whole other question. <laughs> but anyway, I did that, and she got madder and madder with each one. I think I had like 15 boxes. Yeah, she's probably thinking, what the heck is it? Uh, so is there something I, nice I, in the little box? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Better be yeah, after so opening nice. up all those things. Yeah. I can wrap a fish. I, 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 uh, I, 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 and, uh, you know, when I, was, when I was running the tourism office, you know, uh, it was always... Uh, Betty and and Carol, all, all every all the all the ladies in the office wrap my presents. Oh yeah, well hey, <laughs> you, they come out much better that I way. I try so yeah. hard. I watch these YouTube videos. Like literally, I put effort yeah. into it because I'm like, I want to I want to learn how to do it just just to say I could do it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you always know mine. They always have the square edges. And yeah. Oh yeah, my, s- I'm sorry. Yeah, no, my s- <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> my sister in law though, <laughs> hers are like a hallmark. She decorates everything. I mean, it's unbelievable. But I, I, I want to tell you, when growing up, the night before Christmas is when we would open up one present. And we'd give each other our presents too. Yeah. Like I'd give my brothers and sisters whatever their presents. But uh, and then we waited at the very end because my dad then would give my mother her present and we got to watch as because it was a very nice thing and so one year my dad had my brother um bring the present so my brother was i think he was about 12 years old at the time and he was holding the box like this and my dad had bought you know a bunch of nice china for my mother Uh and well we were lived down you know we had an upstairs downstairs thing with five steps that go down so Uh ricky came into the kitchen Uh and he had the box and my mom you know we're all waiting oh this is so cool so my brother you know goes down the steps and right on the second to the last step of course he falls and all you hear is glass breaking and everything and of course we're all freaking and my mother was like oh because she she had asked for that china so she knew that obviously that that was what she but when she heard that glass breaking we all were just dying but it was a joke between Ricky and my dad. Oh, so oh, they had just wow. done it. Wow. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. Ooh, that's yeah. not nice. We that didn't, well, I know. But anyway, that was, that was another my memory. My did that uh, <laughs> to, uh, there was this, uh, uh, the, the local Catholic priest in Kermit. He, he, was, he would come in every day. He was looking for a package. He said, oh, it's a special. He said, it's a, my, my new glass chalets for, you know, wine or whatever. And, and, uh, and you know, it, that's well. It's not here yet, you know. And so, anyhow, he wrapped up another deal with just a bunch of glass, and he said, "Hey, got your present today." And he, re- and he pretended <laughs> like he tripped and dropped it off. Oh no! Here, this oh, and then they. Oh. <laughs> You yep. gave me some good ideas for this uh, yeah. for next year. Well, <laughs> there you go. The priest forg- forgave him after they, they got done laughing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh, funny. Well, that's pretty good. Well, this is always a, a great season, and um, you know. We, we always look forward to Christmas, and I think it just changes the whole, you know, whole dynamic of, of the area. Uh, one last funny f- story for me. Um, my parents put up their really nice dishes. You were talking about the dishes about a week before Christmas because it looks nice, you know. And um, My kids have the Nerf guns, and uh, my grandmother was living with my parents. She was 95, and my son had gotten for Christmas a automatic 
Nerf gun that had about 500, you know, oh. it's like this machine gun. Kind That's of not thing. fair. I think it's cheating. Right? Yeah. It's totally yeah. not fair. Cheating. So anyway, she was sitting in her wheelchair, and uh, Dylan was showing her how to operate this thing. And, well, once her finger hit the button, it didn't come off. And it unloaded <laughs> 500, and it's shooting them hard. And all you hear is ting, 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 <laughs> because it's hitting the glasses, it's hitting the, the, the wine glasses, it's hitting oh, the plates. No. And oh, no. Luckily, nothing shattered, but it was probably the funniest <laughs> Christmas moment I can ever remember. And, uh, you know, that was always a, a great time. Well, did you all hear on the news the story of the young boy somewhere that he's, I think he's five years old, that he went to Santa and the parents are like recording him. And he said to the Santa that he wanted the Nerf gun. And the Santa said, oh, no, 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 you can't have, I don't, no, no. If you get a Nerf gun, you got to get with your parents. I'll, I'll bring you a bicycle or something, but you can't, you can't do that. So, of course, the parents were shocked. They put it on the Internet and went viral big time so now he's all on the news everything is big this kid hasbro that makes the nerf gun sent him wow. his nerf gun and in addition to that the stock on hasbro went up wow. so that was a really interesting <laughs> wow. story what, look what happened that <laughs> that's good marketing right yeah, there, yeah. Oh, God. yeah. <laughs> good planning yeah, right? anyway wow. well planning. merry christmas everybody yeah, thank you very yeah. much and i just want to tell everybody at this table you know I, I appreciate each and every one of you guys you know we uh it, it's it's great being with you all here, especially on this special day. And yeah. you know, I consider you all family, and I appreciate you. So happy yep, holidays. And happy, happy holidays, holidays, and we look forward to twenty twenty one because it has to be better than twenty twenty. Oh, yeah. It yeah, has absolutely. to be. It, you know, it, it's our hope. Well, that's what Christmas is about. Christmas is about hope. So we right. we hope for the best for twenty twenty one, and we wish everybody out there that's listening a a very very happy happy holiday. holiday. And um, we look forward to 2021, and we look forward to uh, the next season, and we look forward to next week. Yeah, we'll yep. see you all next all right. week. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening to the 321 Liftoff Podcast. I'm Promo Pete, and thank you again, Bonnie King. We had a great episode. Be sure to check us out every week. And if you want more information, visit SpaceCoastFunGuide.com or BuildingCommunications.com for everything that we're doing in the area. You can also check out our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash SpaceCoastFunGuide for all the entertaining things to do in our area. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, take care.